Hello, and welcome to Service Coordination Support for People with Developmental Disabilities, also known as SCS. My name is Michelle. Let's learn more about case management services at SCS. But first, let me introduce SCS to you. Let's start with our name, shall we? Service. We empower you to make informed choices and plan for the future of your choice. Coordination. We work with you, your family, service providers, and community resources to coordinate your supports. Support. We strive to understand your unique situation before exploring options to put your plan into action. Our main services at SCS are Support Services, which includes our case management services for children and adults in Ottawa, Developmental Services Ontario Eastern Region, and RespiteServices.com in Ottawa. This video will focus on our case management services. What is case management at SCS? Case management at SCS is a collaborative, inclusive, and individualized process. This means we work with you and the people who are important to you to help you make your own decisions. We work towards goal setting, planning, advocating, and exploring available community resources to help you achieve your goals. This means that we will help you plan for the future that you want. This also means that we will help you link to a service, a person, or a place that can help you achieve your goals. What can you expect from a case manager at SCS? A case manager will focus on goals that are important to you, include the people who are important to you, help you identify your strengths and interests, build and strengthen your relationships and support network, Plan for other life transitions. Coordinate community resources such as skills development or education programs, social and recreational programs, child care programs, support workers or respite programs, volunteer or work opportunities, support groups, financial programs, housing services, transportation services, Specialized services such as counseling, behavior management, medical, therapy, equipment. They will support problem solving and group facilitation. And help you to coordinate meetings with other service providers by assisting you with preparing for the meeting, supporting you at the meeting, understanding roles and responsibilities. Now, let's review what to expect when you meet a case manager. Your relationship with your case manager is voluntary and based on your active participation in your plan. A case manager may support you for three to six months or longer. You are always an active participant in all decisions of the plan. Your case manager will review the information you have provided and will explain to you what you can expect from our services. Let's see how our case management services help Julie and Sebastian. First, let's meet Julie, a seven-year-old child, and her parents. Julie and her parents heard about our children's case management services from a healthcare professional. They registered at SCS and identified that they would like support with coordinating Julie's multiple service providers. Julie has recently been diagnosed with a developmental disability, autism, and has a number of medical needs. Her parents are feeling overwhelmed with the number of services involved in her care and are finding it difficult to keep up with all the planning required. They started working on a plan with their case manager and reviewed their family's strengths, services involved, and support needs. Together, they develop their personal plan that identifies their goals and how they plan to achieve their goals. One of their goals was to organize the multiple services involved in Julie's care and to ensure everyone involved knew who to contact for which purposes. The case manager helped them identify all the people and services involved in her life. Next, the case manager found out more about each of their roles and identified how or when to contact them. They created a community chart together to record this information. 
Julie and her parents agreed the community chart could be circulated so that everyone else in her support network had the same information. Her parents will continue to update the information as things change. They also wanted to decrease the number of appointments for Julie's weekly injections. The case manager helped Julie and her parents explore the options available, and her parents were trained to do the injections themselves. The case manager empowered Julie and her family to build their skills needed to coordinate their plan. This includes sharing the information about community resources and services they can access in the future. Meet Sebastian, an 18-year-old young person. Sebastian heard about case management services at SCS from his teacher. He and his teacher visited the DSO website at dsontario.ca and completed his application for adult services. He identified in his application that he would like support with planning to move out of his family home after he graduates. DSO referred him to case management services. Sebastian met with a case manager at SCS. Sebastian's case manager discussed his strengths and interests, what living independently means to him, and what support he would need to action his personal plan. Sebastian wanted to include his teacher and his older brother in his planning meetings. The case manager assisted Sebastian and his network to start planning for his goal of living independently. Everyone agreed that the biggest priorities at this time were learning how to budget his money, make meals, and learn how to take the bus on his own. Sebastian's brother will start helping him manage his passport funds and will help Sebastian interview and hire a direct support worker to teach him how to make meals. His brother will also help Sebastian set up his own bank account and start teaching him how to manage his money. Sebastian's teacher will be including budgeting and bus training in his education this year. He will also be starting co-op this year. A direct support worker was hired to help him learn how to prepare healthy meals. They meet once a week to do groceries and prepare a couple of meals for the week. They do a few chores around the house while dinner is cooking and then head out to do something fun. The case manager helps Sebastian fill out an application to help with the cost of rent, but there is a long wait. That's okay, because there are still lots of things Sebastian needs to learn in order to reach his goal. The case manager helped them make a list together and identified the resources they could access as Sebastian gets closer to reaching his goal. The amount of time a case manager will be involved will depend on your goals and progress. Your case manager will help you set goals and show you ways to measure your progress. Your case manager will also help you identify potential next steps to consider and will teach you how to access information you may require in the future. Once you are equipped to action your plan, your case manager will disengage, but will let you know how to access case management services or how to request information in the future. If Julie's or Sebastian's situations change in the future, they may re-engage with case management services. Since Julie is already registered at SCS, she or her family can contact SCS at 613-748-1788. Visit our website at www.scsonline.ca. Our resource room drop-in hours are also available on our website. If Sebastian needs help from a case manager in the future, he or his support network can contact SCS at 613-748-1788 or visit our website at www.scsonline.ca. If Sebastian needs information on community resources, he or his support network can contact DSOER Service Navigation at 1-855-376-3737 or visit our website at www.scsonline.ca. Our resource room drop-in hours are also available on our website.